Hey, welcome back to daytime. Well, we are very lucky to have a certain person on the show today. The hills are alive with the sound of music, and I think a lot of us watched uh, How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria? Well, there was a whole bunch of other production going on in the background all through that to create the rest of the cast, one of which is a local, I'm going to say, triple threat. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. There she is there in her costume. Andrea Winglauer is with us today. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Terry. It's great to be here. <laughs> so how cool is it? <laughs> you know, I always said that when I when I landed this gig, I think the coolest thing was going to be when I get to talk with people right. who I'd worked with before. And just hang out for a bit. And, exactly. And have a laugh. A little yeah. coffee chat. You and, know. And everything it's else. Civilized. Yeah. 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 And you know what? I don't know if you know this, and, and you can talk about this, because things started early for you in life. Mm -hmm. Because for this is my fifth year now working with Centennial School. I go oh in and I help gosh, and yeah. I help direct their shows. And in that front hallway is a picture of you as part of the member of the, the cast of Joseph. Yeah, that's how it all started, that yeah. kids' choir. That, that was what did it for me, pretty much. W and was that you with know? Donnie? It was with Donnie, and I didn't know who he was, really, but my mother definitely told me, and I was like, cool, yeah, you know, <laughs> this guy in a loincloth <laughs> like, right next to me, and it was pretty amazing. So what was that like yeah. for you? Because you, I, I'm guessing <laughs> you would have to bus in? Yes, we did um, four days a week, it was, about that, and we, so we missed a bit of school, Yeah. and, you know, we managed to get our homework done in our own time, but, yeah, it was pretty crazy, and the school was very supportive, obviously, because yeah. it was good for our community to be a part of this. Now, had you decided before that that, hey, this is what I want to do? Mm -mm. No. I danced because it was fun. I sang because it was fun. And I never really thought I could make a career out of it. I thought maybe I was going to be, I don't know, an architect or something real. Right. And then just <laughs> seeing this, I was like, I can do this and get paid. I can do this for a living. That's amazing. Okay, how do I do this? How do I do this now? <laughs> it was like, go, go, go. And it's kind of cool because now I've been able to work with some of the people that were in the company at the time and say, hey, I was in the kids' choir. Remember me? And expecting them to be like, oh, my gosh. They're like, Really? <laughs> and how old are you? <laughs> yeah. So. And our I resident know. director then is our resident director now on Sound and Music, so that's kind of cool. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, to come yeah. full circle like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, then, and <coughs> so you went the route when you decided this, that yep. and um, you studied music at, uh, at Laurier? I did. Well, first I went to Eastwood Collegiate in Kitchener, which had an awesome, and I think still does, arts program. It was fantastic. You know, I could get my, we did, had OACs at the time, so I did them in drama, dance, vocal, and, um, you know, did high school productions, did some community theater on the side, KW, KW Musical Productions mm -hmm. at Center in the Square, and uh, met Alex Moustakis there, yeah. a local hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and then, yeah. yes, I think people would recognize you from the Drayton stage as well. Yeah, the Drayton stage happened pretty much right after I finished my music degree at Laurier. In fact, um, I was rehearsing for a show on the day of my grad recital. So I had a tap, hour, tap rehearsal in the morning and then yeah. sang my little opera at night. So it was yeah. kind of cool. And then you yeah. did that cool thing that I think a lot of singer and singers and dancers dream about is going out on the cruise lines. I did, yes. Oh, is, that I did. What One contract. is that what it seems to be kicked you know, up to be? It's good time, but it's extreme living. The goods are good and the lows are low because really? really you're in this big tin can and if you want to <laughs> get out, you just can't. Yeah. <laughs> but we had really quality productions on that particular show, on yeah. that particular ship, yeah. And then you go from that to the big smog. Yeah. H how are you adjusting to Toronto? I love Toronto. Yeah. I don't live right downtown, which is kind of nice. I live in Bloor West Village. Right. So you don't really feel like you're in the city. You know, you've got a little butcher there, and you've got your little parks and everything. And then I just get on the TTC, and suddenly I'm downtown. Yeah. So it's nice to separate it like that. But working downtown is, I mean, it's incredibly exciting yeah. <laughs> to come so back to that. So tell me about this Maria thing, because yeah. I think we all sat at home and watched this show. Mm -hmm, so did I. But, but then <laughs> very shortly after the show was over, she was going on stage, mm -hmm. which meant that everybody else had to be working without a Maria. Is that, well, is that how it Well, no, actually, we all started rehearsing together at the very same time. She actually got, well, the two Marias got about a month off after they finished. It was a few weeks. They yeah. had a bit of a chunk of time. They had a little break to go home and relax for a bit. But we all right. started together. But, but we were all cast before the show started in the winter. Okay. So we knew that we were doing it. And you were just sitting and, and just, waiting. Yeah, just like, <laughs> watched every episode, you know, wanted to know who we were going to be working with. And how, how do you pass, your, pass the time while you're waiting? <laughs> uh, well, other shows yeah. <laughs> or other jobs, you know. It was good to be knowing that this was coming along, you know. But I, I had some other theater gigs going on during that time. Yeah. I was out in Halifax for a bit doing the producers. Oh, wow. Yeah. What were you doing in that? I was understudying Ula and wearing a brat verse on my head. Very cool. Yeah, Very cool. that's a fun show. <laughs> now, with the Sound of Music thing, basically, this is part of, oh, can I say, paying your dues as you climb up? Because mm -hmm. you, you basically cover right now a lot of roles. Yes. But these are those moments that you wait for when they say, okay, Andrea, 
We want exactly. you to go be the Baroness. And it's very nice to be told because often you'll have five minutes notice, which has happened, to go do, 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 get your thing on and go and just do it and then go, what just happened? Right. So I've got some notice here, you know, can invite some friends, invite some family and make a little thing out of it. Yeah. It's nice, yeah. yeah. So, so give no. people the details. What's going on? What's going on? Um, I'm understudying the role of Baroness Schrader. Um, I will be going on for this role April 17th and 18th. April 17th is at 7.30, 18th is at 1.30 and 7.30, so I get three shows. And it's a great little part. She's the other woman. <laughs> she's, a, she's the one who loses Gayer to Maria. But uh, unlike the movie, she kind of gets a little bit of a bad treatment there. They've updated a bit, and it becomes more about political reasons, which, which is the reason for their breakup. So it's not about this younger woman. Oh, really? It doesn't go that route. It's, it's very... Very classy, the way they've done it. Yeah. Yeah. That, th actually, that's the other the question. Uh, just quickly, I, I I I think a lot of people are curious to know what Andrew Lloyd Webber was bringing to the table that would make it so different from past productions. Mm. Is there anything that you've noticed? I don't know how much Andrew Lloyd Webber has had to do with that. I know that he really wants to get the Rodgers and Hammerstein shows back out there. Um, it's been rewritten a little bit. I know the writers have kind of readapted a bit because they just wanted to update it and then you know. A right. general way. I'd, I'm not too sure how much he had to do with that. Okay. Yeah. But I've heard great news about it, and it's yeah. incredible. And I guess people go to what, Mervish.com? Exactly, Mervish.com. And then get tickets to go see yeah. Andrea Winglauer, because <laughs> it'll be incredible. It's so good to see it's you. It's good to see you too, Terry. All right, yeah. come on back. Way more daytime after this.